mitosis and atropinization of the animal and the animal may die due to the atropinization itself because uh, there will be whenever you are administering the atropine sulfate some, uh, sometimes I have heard the call from a veterinarian that in some cypermethrin toxicity he has administered the atropine to the extent of 100 ml IV also. So, entire secretions will stop totally the peristalsis will totally stop the heart rate will drastically reduce then more and more absorption of the toxins from the intestine will occur and the animal will die soon that is how it goes. So, hence we need to uh, classify the substance nowadays it is very easy if you just uh, type to which category suppose you have got the bottle etcetera to which category it belongs everything will be there. So, that is why we should know which type of the pesticide it is before going to the uh, treatment just some of the examples are here just note down because some of the uh, uh, insecticides will reflect their category in their name only they like just like endosulfan, DDT, BSC, methoxychlor, chlor means chlorinated hydrochlorine or organopesticides. And later the organophosphorus pesticides are also their insecticides melathion, parathion, monocrotophos, uh, TIC20, that is a phenytrothion and so many other classes are there. And the carbamate insecticides are also there carbaryl, methyl and propoxyl because the farmers are using all this category of the thing and sometimes in uh, the pesticide market the combination of the all the three are also available that is the unfortunate part of it because the, hence uh, many times uh, whenever you are treating the toxicity we have to see that whether it is containing the multiple insecticides or single insecticides because of the resistance development the uh, scientists of the agriculture in origin they have prescribed that endosulfan should be mixed with the carbaryl and synthetic pyrethroid. So, that is a one of the hitch in treatment hence uh, it becoming more and more whereas the pyrethroid category is very commonly used in all the part of the world nowadays in very large quantity the only one thing the advantage is pyrethroids they will not stay long in the earth or the soil that is one of the advantage whereas the organic chlorine the half life of the any organic chlorine except this uh, endosulfan and DDT they are they will stay in this earth even with the bright sunlight also for 12 years just 5 to 10 percent decay will be there or else they will stay without any problem and OPC compounds when they are exposed to sunlight they will get destroyed whereas the uh, pyrethroids just like your deltrametrin, cypermethrin so many other things uh, they will be destroyed within a week of the time if the they are uh, uh, exposed to the sunlight that is what hence uh, uh, the toxicity is to some extent it is reduced. Whereas many of the pesticides like uh, OPC and organochlorine they directly penetrate from the skin to, to the lesser extent of the pyrethroids they will lesser extent but they irritate the skin like anything that is why the synthetic pyrethroids are not recommended for the application on the buffalo skin. And even though buffalo skin we say that it, it is thick skinned animal it get irritation especially the excipients of the cypermethrin, deltamethrin etc. their cause. Apart from this one some of the natural products are also there nicotine, avermectins and formamidin, amitras they are all non-specific uh, insecticides to which we do not have the specific antidotes. So, only one or two we have got the a specific antidotes to all other we do not have a specific antidote that is first thing to the remember. Then herbicides are also adding being added nowadays uh, to deweed the unwanted uh, crops especially the unwanted growth the all these paraquet and diquet are added. But when compared to the insecticides they are less toxic margin of safety is wide their LD50 is higher when compared to the regular pesticides though that is why the herbicides except uh, one or two they are least toxic. So, whenever a farmer comes with the uh, thing that it is a bottle etc then you have to see the content especially it is written in very small uh, letters then you have to classify whether it is a toxic or non toxic. So, OPC compounds yes as, as I have already told it will stay in the mud or the material half life is 12, 12 years most of the organochlorine pesticides usually endosulfan, DTT and BHC have been banned now they are not being used in the field conditions but still they are available in the market even though India is famous for its uh, uh, 
uh, the thing any drug or whatever it may be the anything is banned is available on the top that is how it goes. Hence these are some of the bottles please uh, look into this so that you can easily classify them as the cyclohexanes or the organochlorine compounds. So, in all uh, uh, toxicities these are common clinical signs just we can let go to some behavioral changes will be there anxiety aggressiveness then fasciculation twitching up of the muscles 